say is this, and it's wonderful to be to be the official folk sport ball commentator. Mm. And what a day I've had! Sorry, is that ball or brandy? It's it's ball. <laughs> I said I had a ball. How are you, darling? You right? I'm good, thanks, Brian. Good, yeah. good, good. Yeah. yeah. So what would you like me to talk uh, about? Well, well, how, just, what, just give us a flavour um, of what it was like inside the Abbey. Well, it was kind of musky. <laughs> if I'm honest. It was kind of musk and a, a kind of a wonderful mix of, you know, aftershaves and perfumes. And the bouquets were wonderful. I mean, there were bathes, there were bandy lines, <laughs> a couple of bluebells. I was, I was overwhelmed, you know. But you have to keep very quiet and. In um, you know situations like that, you can't start going. <laughs> no. Did anyone have you know, what I call church breath, or in my case, synagogue breath? It does. You know, people do. You mentioned the smells there, but you can get a sort of halitosis overtone, can't you? Halitosis. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, the, 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 the Ricker definitely looked like uh, he needed to uh, floss a little more. But you know, that's neither here nor there. It's not about the Ricker's breath. It's about. <laughs> It's about, um, what is it about? Sorry, <laughs> it's about two, two lovely two people in love. People yes, in love. of course, sorry, two lovely people in love. This Prince, uh, uh, Prince, um, uh, uh, forgotten his name. <laughs> William, of course, Prince William and Bert. William and Bert on this wonderful occasion. And not only William and Bert look fabulous, but, uh, you know, Prince Charles, Camilla Parker Burrell. Mm. She was looking a little brown. But you know, <laughs> never mind. And you know, for me, the star of the of the day was not Barry, but Balsy. Balsy and Barry. I mean, Prince Barry has done very well there, don't you think? Oh, I mean, she Barry. looks, she looks Balsy, darling. She did. <laughs> now, the dress, uh, Brian. What did you make of uh, uh, Catherine's dress? Well, um, it was white, which <laughs> I, I I I like, mm -hmm. and it was a very. It had the um the the. the, the Trussle, I believe it's called. So it had a lovely trussle, yeah. and then the the, the midriff was was wonderfully, um, um, you know, a b b bridal, and that um, encapsulated the day in a sort of white dressy kind of thing. Yeah, that's what, what I think. That's beautifully put, Brian. What about yourself? I mean, you're not a military man, so you wouldn't be wearing the the thing. But you we, weren't no, wearing. No, a... no, my, my, I'm not. I, my, my, I, I wouldn't. I, I was forced into the army. When I was a little younger, you know, uh, <laughs> my my my, uh, my father was in the army. He was actually a general in the army. Oh, um, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh God, he he's been all over. He went to to Afghanistan. Um, um, he was posted uh, the the Argentina uh, during the Balkans. Yeah. Um, hopefully, you know, Belize. <laughs> Hope, Belize. Hopefully, Brian. He spent some time there in Belize. Belize. Yeah. Belize, yes. <laughs> no, 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 the, the barmy. Oh, no, no, okay, no, no, not, but, the <laughs> not the police, not no. the police. But you're no. quite a flamboyant dresser, Brian. Did you tone yourself down a bit today? Or you well, you know, I mean, it's funny you should say that, because I did. I didn't uh, choose to, you know, I, I didn't want to up upstage the bride, you know. It's, mm. it's, it's about showing your respect and doing it in a subdued way, which is why I went in fluorescent brown. Yeah. <laughs> fluorescent brown. Uh, which brown. A lovely colour that is. Brian, Brian. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, I've got this fantastic Chinese tailor called, um, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 uh uh, 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 Bing Bong Bui. And uh, he is fabulous. I met him in Chinatown. It was late. I, I was eating a sweet and sour poodle. And, you know, he just approached me and gave me that look. And I thought, wow. Yeah. Who were who you sitting next to in the Abbey, Brian, today? Who were your, yeah, who was Oh, there? I was sat next to, um, I was, um, Belton. Oh, Belton, really? Yes, yes, Belton. <laughs> Belton and David. Yes, <laughs> yes, Belton and David. Uh, I, um, I, I, I don't like that day, Fridge. Really? He's a user, darling. Oh, is he really? <laughs> I know Belton better than that. He should never have gone there, David. <laughs> he did have a very prime position, I must say. Yeah. Elton and him no, no, were very uh, nice. Brian, I don't, I don't really like to do this to you, but we've, we've just had, um, we've just had a, uh, an email from the palace. Somebody at the palace is listening to this. And has right. told us there was nobody uh, at all on the guest list called Brian Badonde. And as far as uh, they're concerned, you wasn't actually at the Abbey and you wasn't even invited to, to the royal wedding, Brian. I mean, I'm sorry to put you, embarrass you like this. Sorry, but... sorry, can I just, can I just, sorry, can I just confirm? Is that a uh, uh, band your ball? 
That's that's ball. I'm afraid about that. And you think ball? This is typical of you, darling. I know what you do on these talk shows. You try and corner your guests, and you try and humiliate your guests. Do I look like I'm the Syrian ambassador? I don't think so. I was on that bus list. I was in the baby. I saw you. I present that accusation, and that's not even the world of listener. No, I agree. I'm so sorry is about. anyone even is anyone even listening today? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, well, I think well, they are. What should I do on the day of the borrow bedding? I know. I'll listen to a talk radio program <laughs> and, and listen to people talk about football, darling. <laughs> well, it's know. not about you and Bandy today, boy. It's about Bate and William. Yes, yes. I know. You've I've done Don't pass the <laughs> are, you, are you looking forward to the rest of the day, Brian? I mean, the, the, the lunch and then, of course, the, the dance yes, tonight? Yes, of course, you know, there's a little lunch. You know, some like canapes, you know. I, I tell you what I'm staring well clear of, and it's the wedding cake, because I do like a bit of sponge, but they insist on putting the browsy pan on there. I don't like browsy pan. Oh. Browsy pan, brah! <laughs> not like browsy pan. <laughs> well, Brian, it's Brian been, I, I, I do apologise. I, I, I felt, could, because of that email, compelled to, to put that point to you, but I, I can clearly hear that you're upset about that, so I apologise. Uh, it's all right, Paul, you know. I just, you know, what happened last week, I got the wrong end of the stick. I know you're a married man. I apologise. <laughs> yes, uh, I've, I've, okay. I've, I've, I've just tried to kind of put it's it out of my mind. It's your shorts, darling. You wear them so high <laughs> and so tight. <laughs> Brian, it's, it's been a great honour. Enjoy the rest of the day. Give our best to Wills and Kate. Thank you, Paul and Bandy. Thank, Thank you, Brian. You Brian. Brian Badonde there. Uh, well, he, he said he was at the Abbey. They, apparently, the palace saying no, that. No, I definitely caught 